Today I thought maybe I would make a monthly wrap up slash favorites video because I haven't made one of those all summer. Then I realized I have seven books that I have started and not finished and that is an issue. I generally never do that. I'm very adamant about finishing a book before I start a new one. It's very very peculiar and I feel like that's one of the reasons that I'm in this huge reading slump. I've just been so unmotivated lately. It's terrible. So today I thought I would tell you guys about the seven books that I've started and not finished so maybe you guys can tell me which books I can finally finish so I could start on other books that I really, really, really wanted to read. Also, I have a few books that are coming up in the fall that I really want to read that I wanted to share with you guys because maybe you guys don't know about them yet. First two books that I've started and not finished are book club picks. For those of you who don't know, me and my boyfriend, we started this Perks of Being Wallflower book club where we read all of the books that are inside of Perks of Being Wallflower. On the Road by Jack Kerouac is our July pick. So I'm only 40 pages into this. The issue with reading this book is it's just the story. I'm not getting into it. <sighs> not in the slightest. And this particular edition has no paragraph breaks whatsoever. So that's also really irritating. But I do have to read it because it is a book club pick. Second book club pick is the one for August, and that is Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. Currently I'm on page 86. I'm not even gonna lie, I enjoy reading this a lot, but he wrote this while he was on an acid trip, so it's hard to read extensively. You kind of have to read it little by little and try and piece it together. None of it makes sense. There's, there's tiny, tiny paragraphs that make sense, and that's what makes it worth reading. It's just crazy, like, hysterical realism all over the place. It's so eccentric. Regardless, I am enjoying it. It's just taken me a while. The next two books are books that I've been reading on my Kindle. The first one is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. That one I'm only about 10% into, I believe. I love Lauren Oliver's writing. It's very poetic. I don't know why I haven't been getting into this one, to be honest. I definitely have to finish it though because it's Lauren Oliver. And the next one is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The fifth wave, I believe I'm like 125 pages into or something like that. I don't remember what the percentage was. Everyone loves the fifth wave and for some reason I stopped reading it and then just never continued. Such an issue because I know if I continued it, I would love it like everybody else. Ugh. The next one I've actually been reading as an audiobook and I have been continually listening to this because it's so easy to just like listen to it on the go and everything. I've been listening to it on audible.com which I'm in love with. I'll talk more about that in a separate video because Audible is amazing. But the book I'm reading is Ender's Game and Ender's Game is fantastic so far. So I'm really excited to continue that. I believe I am like halfway into it. There's a part one and a part two. Just started part two. The next thing that I have to read is Death Note. Death Note is actually a series, but I'm counting it in here because it's a manga series. I should be finished with it by now. I'm currently on volume seven out of 12. So I'm smack dab in the middle of it. All these crazy things are happening and I just stopped. Issues, such issues. The last one, save the best one for last or the most pathetic in my case. I've mentioned this book on here about like three times now. Under the Dome by Stephen King. It's 1,095 pages. I'm on page 907. Now I started this one in May, and you would think, you know, that's reasonable because that's a long book. But I started it in May, and I could have finished it by now, and I'm on page 907, right? So that's when all the exciting stuff starts happening. And you're like, wow, I really need to know how Barbara gets out of this situation. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll read about Barbara and how the dome finally collapses. Like, I have no idea how this book is gonna end right now. Everything's going crazy. Yeah, I'm just like, I guess I'll read some pages today. I don't know what's going on. So if you guys have any suggestions on which book I should finish first so I can finally start reading new books, that would be fantastic. It would help me out so much. Three books that are coming up in the fall that I'm so, so, so excited about. The first one is Doomed by Chuck Palahniuk. I love Chuck Palahniuk so much. Palahniuk has never made a sequel to one of his novels before, and now he's making a sequel to Damned, which is his newest, like, novel release. It came out last year. And now he's making Doomed, and it looks awesome. I'm so excited. Damned is about a 13 year old named Madison and she died and went to hell and this is all about her experiences in hell. To get a sequel of this I think it will be a hilarious hilarious addition to it. He is also making a 
I believe it's going to be a Kindle single, but you know, he's considering it a short story called Zombies. Apparently it's a very emotional story, so I'm very, very excited to read that. As well as a graphic novel sequel to Fight Club. <sighs> I believe that one's coming out in the fall as well. Very excited for these new Palinwick books. You have no idea. Favorite author. So excited. Next one that I am incredibly excited for is Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep is going to be the sequel to Stephen King's The Shining. Stephen King made his sequel 30 years later. So I'm assuming it's going to be very, very interesting. The Shining is by far my favorite Stephen King novel so far. There was nothing wrong with it. Everything was absolutely incredible and it's actually extremely scary. A novel has never freaked me out so badly. So I'm very interested in seeing what Dr. Sleep is going to be like, mainly because it's 30 years into the future. Stephen King's writing has changed so dramatically that I wonder how he has written this one. The next one is my YA upcoming exciting novel. That is Crash Into You by Katie McGarry. I'm in love with Katie McGarry's writing. A lot of people think that it's generic. I love it. It's so good. I think she's just really good at capturing characters. It makes me really happy that she's going to be making yet another addition to... She always picks out characters from her other novels. So to hear more about these characters is going to be so exciting. And that's my three that I'm excited about. I'm sure there's so many other fantastic novels coming out. So please tell me which ones you guys are super excited about. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!